Reste derrière lui pour foot. Faut te lancer. Arrête Primo. Retour. Autre arrête Primo. Houlin in now back the other way. Great way to see actually Houlin held onto it. Houlin in the shot off the glove of Lindgren and in. Yes, sir. Houlin in has snuck it through Charlie Lindgren. Nico maintient. Voilà Benzel. À Nico. Profondément. Il s'avance devant le filet. Arrête Pina. Voilà le but. Et le but. Well, getting to it. Spinning around the band of Otto. Comes out in front. Quick shot. And they score. Quick feed from behind the net. And in front of that was Martel, bangs it inside the back post. This video was brought to you by Toiletage Pataplouf. Hi, welcome to the Rocket Man Podcast. Um, today is Monday, April 10th. This is episode number four. And it's going to be a brief update about last week, um, April 3rd to the 9th. Um, not much really happened. There was only two games. But one of the games was the most important of the season. It was against Cleveland Monsters at home. Um, a team that is trailing us in the standings for the playoff push. We had a chance to take two points ahead of them. And we were winning 4-2 in the third period. And they got three straight goals. And ended up winning in regulation time 5-4. to four. Now, I know Cleveland are in the hunt for a playoff uh, spot also. So for sure they're going to come with a lot of energy and you know they're going to want to push and and get as many wins as they can from here to the end of the season also but when you're at home in the third period and you're winning by two goals you have the home crowd behind you you shouldn't end up giving up that game you know and Caden Primo <clears throat> Caden Primo wasn't the Caden Primo we all know I mean, a lot. I think the three goals in the third period, he should have had those goals. They all went in on the glove side, if I remember right. And, I mean, I'm not blaming just him, obviously, but those are shots that he could have saved. And he didn't. And costed him the game of the year. The next day, they went to Syracuse. Pulled out a win, which was good. Because... Now is that when we regained one point um, over the Monsters. I believe, I don't know if Cleveland played on Sunday also and lost, but we still have one point over the Monsters. Today is Monday, and they announced, the Canadians announced that uh, S.A. Ilonen, um, Raphael Harvey Pinard, Corey Schooneman, and Caden Primo are all going to join the Rocket. So, that's some good backup, you know. Harvey Pinard been playing good in Montreal. Yeah, S.A.U. Lonin been playing good in Montreal. So, hopefully they can come down, help us, and we can win these last, I think, three games we have left. And hopefully other teams will help us too and Cleveland's going to lose all their games. That's what we want. That's what we hope for. Right? The other teams will beat Cleveland. <laughs> And um, 
we're going to end up making the playoffs. Um, tonight we're playing against the Penguins of Wilkes, Wilkesbury Scranton, I believe it's called. At home on Easter Monday. I don't know if the house is going to be full, but they opened the upper bowl to sell tickets in the upper bowl. So if we can get as many people as we can, bring that playoff fan atmosphere, show the rocket we are behind them, you know, with the uh, reinforcements that we got from the Canadians. Hopefully, we can pull out a win tonight. And we just keep going from there, right? There's nothing else to do but win the games and just hope for the best. So, we have a game tonight. We have a game on Wednesday and I believe on Friday. Uh, I have sucks. I can't make it tonight, but I'm going to watch it on the TV or listen to it on the radio or something. Um, but I'll be there on Wednesday and I'll be there on Friday. Let's just um, you know hope they make it and uh, make the playoff push. Get into the playoffs, and when you get into the playoffs, well, anything can happen. So, let's go Rocket, and let's see you guys on Wednesday. 